<laughs> what? This is so sick. What's up guys, my name's Joel Nagels and welcome to the channel. Today I'll be going over how to create an interactive 3D dollhouse model without using Matterport, Metareal, or Astrum. This can be embedded directly on your own virtual tour platform. One of my biggest issues after starting uh, or just getting into virtual tour design was competing with other 360 photographers who offered Matterport and their 3D dollhouse views. Three years ago, shortly after starting, I decided to jump on that Matterport bandwagon, <laughs> but uh, found myself hitting their hosting limit ceiling. Uh, and you guys know how expensive that can be. But soon after that, I found Cloud Pano and realized how much overhead I would actually lower if I simply eliminated that very problem of those hosting fees. Uh, which for me was switching over entirely to Cloud Pano. Unfortunately, like other virtual tour softwares, Cloud Pano does not have a 3D dollhouse integration. So I've been on a quest to find an alternative, find a different solution, and, and different ways around it. Uh, this week, I've actually found two possible solutions. So before I begin, I just want to say this. I am here to give you new ideas, new solutions, and new perspectives on a otherwise highly competitive and sought after market like virtual tour design. After watching this video, you need to do your own research and your own experimentation like what I'm trying to do to see what is actually realistic for you. This may not necessarily make sense for every virtual tour designer, but I hope you get something out of it that you can apply and help your business thrive. That's one of the main reasons I want to create this channel. So if you're new here, please like and subscribe and share this video. Uh, this video is going to be short and sweet, but uh, I hope it can give you some insight into how, in how you could uh, create your own interactive 3D dollhouse and utilize them on your virtual tours. So let's get started. Awesome. So if you saw my last video that I published, I recently unboxed the brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max. And originally I got this phone for its video and photo capabilities. Uh, just kind of have it in mind that I could use it as like a secondary vlogging camera or um, just something easy access. And, uh, you know, I do a lot of my emails and uh, school stuff through my phone. So... Uh, Sprint called me or sent me a message and asked me if uh, I, I wanted to upgrade and why not, right? Um, but one of the things that I kind of blew by and didn't really know that I would have use of was the actual LiDAR scanner on it uh, because I really didn't know how powerful it was. The LiDAR scanner on the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPad Pro uh, the scanner that it has determines uh, its distance between itself and an object, basically monitoring how long it takes uh, light to bounce back to its sensor, um, kind of like radar, except uh, instead of radio waves, it uses infrared light. So it's incredibly accurate, and it's really awesome to see the different uh, things it's able to do and just what direction technology is going in is absolutely um, insane. Uh, so one of the cool things of having this LiDAR scanner uh, in the iPhone 12 Pro Max is there's actually a few apps we can download uh, off the App Store. One in particular is called Polycam LiDAR 3D Scanner. Um, it's a <laughs> super sick app and it's what i opened this video with um uh it requires again an iphone 12 pro iphone 12 pro max or 2020 ipad pro um 
just reading through its description, I really don't know a lot about LiDAR scanning. Um, I'm going to try to dive into this uh, in my free time to just try to understand it a little bit more and the technology behind it. Um, after you design this 3D dollhouse, you can uh, take measurements uh, in any of the rooms or outside. So the actual scanning is really self-explanatory. Um, I'm not going to really go into that. As you saw in the beginning of this video and some of the B-roll, you, you literally just scan the entire house uh, until there's no blue left. Um, but again, I would avoid doing the roof because what's going to happen, you know, somebody that's either in AEC or architecture and design or that, that uses Sketchfab professionally or at least on a way more professional level than me, um, can kind of go into that maybe in their own tutorial because again there are certain things that i just don't understand in sketchfab and i don't really know the purpose of again i just wanted to show you that this is a possibility um and you could get a lot more clean of a model than what i did uh again i just there's certain spots in my house i did not want to i did not want to scan um you can see in this model right uh right here of my garage, how good of a job it did with all the objects in that garage. Um, super accurate and going room to room, it captures every single detail, which is incredible. Uh, one of the things I do do before, do do, one of the things I do before I export to Sketchfab, which again, you would have to create an account with, uh, is I will crop out the ceiling uh, so here you can see there's a crop tool all i'll do is i'll drop this down right before the ceiling that way when it starts in sketchfab uh, you wouldn't get that one-sided viewer um, and you wouldn't have to switch over from two-sided to two-sided view uh, if that makes sense uh, and one of the things when i did the entire house i did the roof as well i couldn't figure out in sketchfab how to see through the roof uh, so I actually went back into the Polycam app and cropped out the roof uh, just so you could see uh, through in a, in a dollhouse view, uh, which is pretty cool. So say you're completely done with your model. Uh, you scan the whole house and you're ready to export. All you do is press this button right here and you can upload straight to your Sketchfab account, which if it's not already linked and you haven't created it, you can either do that before or after. Either way, it will prompt you to sign in. And if you do not have an account yet, you will just be uh, prompted to sign up. Uh, you can export these in multiple different files. A lot of these I don't quite understand. So if you're in AEC or development or construction, uh, maybe you can help me out with this to try to understand this a little bit better. Um, so really what I'll do is I'll click upload to Sketchfab. I'll just name this whatever new new. upload hit upload and it will upload straight to your account perfect so i'm here in cloud panel and i wanted to use them as an example for uh embedding a 3d dollhouse model uh, this might be a little bit different for you as far as the workflow for this but it's generally the same uh, so this is the goal that I want. I want to be able to click on one of these hotspots and go straight into a 3D model uh, of the house. This is what I want here. And to do that, uh, we are going to need an embed link. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a hotspot here. Go to this HTML pop-up and just call this 3D model. And then I'm going to go back up into my Sketchfab account where my model is uploaded to. And I'm going to come down here to embed. And I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to go to this HTML editor. And I'll just copy and paste in there. Compress that a little bit. And then I will copy this. Go back into Cloud Panel and then paste that HTML right into here. So what's going to happen is that's going to bring me right into the pop-up. I'm going to go ahead and save the info spot. And they are both the same, obviously. But again, that's what we wanted. We just wanted it to pop up. I would 
Honestly, I'd rather have this in like the bottom left corner uh, throughout the entire tour as you're going through the house. That way you can kind of just click and drag. Uh, and this is what we want as the end goal here. Again, this isn't as clean as necessarily Matterport, but it does a pretty damn good job. Uh, as you can see from this guy right here, uh, Alvin, he did an incredible, incredible job on this. I mean, it looks super cool. Um, and again, you can embed different animations to go through um, and kind of take the own tour. Um, I'm going to go out a little bit. Uh, I think this is really cool what this guy did. Uh, this is what I would love to learn how to do next. 100 seconds with the polycam app he scanned pretty impressive and really clean looking and i i love these different animations he did with each one um so you can kind of see the potential here again <laughs> i did not really take my time with mine uh and that was for good reason i just wanted a little bit more privacy in my house kind of sketch me out scanning the whole thing posting it to the world <laughs> but uh and if you're asking yourself right now, uh, Joel, you said that there are two different solutions. Uh, and here is the second, and that is Walkabout World's Pano Modeler. Unfortunately, because I have a Mac, I've had a lot of issues uh, trying to figure this out. I haven't actually tried it myself, but there are a ton of tutorials that this guy has put out on YouTube, a few really great forums on Facebook where you... Uh, basically take your 360 image that you take off of whatever point and shoot camera DSLR whatever um, and it's a mobile editing app where you can make a 3d dollhouse out of that uh, it might be a little bit more time consuming uh, in the next video I'm gonna try to get my hands on a uh, front PC and work through this and show you guys an example uh, again just for today I wanted to show you guys what was possible I hope this has helped you. Please like and subscribe. Comment on this video if this helped you. And feel free to share. And uh, a few choose here, guys. Take care.